How's it going fellow guardians? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to be showing you something completely different that will change the way you see Destiny, change the way you play Destiny and make building your builds basically that much easier. This website here, D2 Armor Pickup by Me Jago, is absolutely a godsend. It does require you to connect your Bungie account to it, but it is absolutely brilliant. So why is this so good? Well, this website here allows you to pretty much build your perfect build with all the items you have. You don't even have to have the items in your inventory. You can have them all in your vault and it will still find the best build for you. Now, let's just quickly go through everything before we start playing around with it, giving you a brief example. But if you do find this video informative, useful, or simply find this tool awesome, Hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome stuff like this, and hit that bell to step today of all content I release. So this over here, as you can see, is your mobility, resilience, and stuff, all the way up to 100. Everyone wants that double 100 or triple 100. We'll get to that in a bit. This section over here is all the armor sets that you have that corresponds to what these stats are. Now, if you're looking for a specific exotic to base your gear set off, your build off, this is where you can pick it from. Now, as you can see up here, I've got my Titan with 253 pieces. I've got my Hunter with 27 and my Warlock with 12. That's basically the, the armor sets that I've got that are available to me. This over here is armor limitation. If you want to use different stats outside of the basic, you know, grenade recovery mobility and stuff, you can do that here. Over here down below, we've got the desired mod and skill selection. These should all seem very obvious to you. Some of these are no longer available, like the protective light. But this is the part where it becomes really interesting. You've got solar, void, and stasis, and you can change these, and it'll just change the aspects. And once you do, this is the part where it will actually enable you to do what you want to do. So we want to go, just for argument's sake, have that one there. Have a bit of resilience just to show what it's going to do later on all right okay so now we go up it's updating and this is what is available for us to get zero mobility and all of this now obviously with the way destiny 2 has changed with this season mobility resilience sorry has taken a massive buff everyone wants that 100 resilience so boom i hit a resilience these are all the stuff that's available but let's just say i'm a titan I've, I really love my, you know, my Titan build and I really want to throw grenades. So I throw another hundred on there. This is now telling me that there is a ton of armor sets that I can use that can provide me with this set. Now I can now go with this one here. And when it loads, these three sets on me right now, if I'm using these three aspects, the Ember of Char, Ember of Siri and Ember of Wonder. If I'm using those three, I can have three 100 sets on me for recovery, discipline, and resilience. So how does that work? You click on this, and then this will tell you what you need. It's found my Iron Four on the helm, my Ashen Wake, my Deep Explorer Plate, my Veritas Greaves, and any class item. Now these obviously need to all be masterworked, and it will also tell you what you need. Now over here it says configuration 10 10 10 major mods you need two times 10 and three times 10 total is giving you here and this is the total material cost that it requires now you can click on this button here and it will if you have space put the items into your inventory but if you don't want to do that and you want to see what it is on dim you can click on this item here and now when we switch over to them, we go up here and we paste. Now what's cool here is as we scroll down, all the items that are requested for that triple 100 are now highlighted. Isn't that awesome? And then you simply just transfer it to yourself and that is it. So we've got the body piece here. We've already got the legs on me already and the body piece. This is something I literally just picked up through the dungeon yesterday. We've got the Ashen Wake over here. Seems to be better than the one I'm using. And then we've got the Iron Forerunner's Helm, which I can transfer. So what you want to do from here is equip everything onto your slots. That's going to be the easiest way to do this, in my opinion. And what you want to do is go to this little burger menu. You want to go to loadouts. 
and then you want to come down to create loadout now all you have to do is click on fill equipped slot that's it because you've already put them on it'll automatically put a name for your loadout and then click on save and that is it your loadout will be here now why is this so cool well if you're in orbit or any resting area that's not within the game world you can come here and literally just select the loadout that you want once you apply the loadout that you want it will instantly load your character with that loadout if you don't have all the items on you it's not a problem it will literally just take it out of your vault and place it here you never have to worry about inventory management again you just come to this dim management dim is extremely powerful but the magic the magic the magic is all here now, as you can see from me with the Ashen Wake, I've got three different builds that can do this. There are three alternatives. Look, as you can see, this one's using the Karak. This one over here is using the Tusk Allegiance Helm. And this version of it is using the Iron Four Runner. There are different alternatives that it provides you. But let's just say, let's go back to, to zeros. Let's say, for example, you're a Solar Titan. And you want to use that new solar helm that's doing the rounds right now, the Lorelei Splendor, because that is what you want. Now, I Lorelei Splendor is pretty damn awful. I'll say that for sure. But I've selected that now. It's loading, and now it's going to provide me with options. So I can go 100 resilience because that's already available to me. I can select that instantly. Now, if it's not available, it will tell you that you can't do it. But look. I can then go straight to 100 discipline. Boom. We're doing good here. So now we've got 100 resilience, 100 discipline. And then I can have 90 recovery. Now, if my actual Lorelei was actually any good, I would do even better. But as you can see, my Lorelei helm is pretty goddamn awful. You know, it is awful. But I can still have a 100, 90, and 100 stat on this. Now, obviously, if you want to bump this up to 20 or one of the others, you'll just see that these will either gray out or not, and it will just go down to whatever's available. That is really it. This is a really, really powerful set. And again, once you've done it, you have the option to open loadout in DIM. So if we click on this, what will it do? It will instantly place the items there for you. Obviously, the class item can be whatever you want it to be. That is even an easier option. I've never used it. That was the first time I've done it live on air. And uh, yeah, that just gives you an even better option. Then you just uh, put the name that you want. Obviously, this has already been put down as D2 Armor Picker Loadout. Change it to what you want. Click on Save. Bob's your uncle. You are done. That is 190-100 Loadout. It's that simple. There is nothing else to it. You can even have your mods placed on here to have the desired effect. These are like your ghosts and stuff, so you can actually organize these as well. It's a really powerful thing. Dim itself is powerful, but this here will allow you to build whatever you want. Anyway, I've rambled enough. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Check out the tool. Links to that and Dim in the description below. I'm out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.